Hello everyone, my name is Pierre-Hugues Charbonneau, I'm an IT architect and uh, today's basically tutorial will be uh, we're providing an introduction to the popular uh, free tool uh, Java Visual VM. Uh, now this is the first uh, video of a series uh, which will provide you with uh, several step-by-step -step, uh, tutorials uh, and basically to see how it can be leveraged in your day-to-day -day, uh, operation could be a support role or development role. You'll see it's a key tool to use, especially if you're not using any uh, commercial products uh, to monitor your ap application. So if we start quickly, what is uh, Java Visual VM? It's essentially a tool which is uh, pre-packaged uh, with the Java JDK. Since uh, quite a few years now, uh, the tools has evolved. Uh, there's multiple plugins available to the tool, but essentially it's available out of the box from the JDK. So let's start with the location of the tool. So basically um, today uh, we're going the example of GDK 1.8 which was recently released this year back in March and April so what you can see from my disk which as you can see is Windows base is the GDK installation folder so in this case we use JDK 1.8.0 so this is the root directory obviously each GDK has uh, definitely a uh, JRE folder and under the BIN folder get all the executables which include the java.exe right basically when you run your program if you scroll down you will notice JVisual VM is actually part of the GDK so it's it's a free tool as I mentioned it's already part of GDK you can simply double click on it and then this is going to launch the window in our case we created shortcuts to it right so that's what I would recommend obviously depending of your role you may want to create some quick shortcut to Visual VM they're 32 bit 64 bit and and after you start it you will see the screen so as I said you double click on it and then the main screen will show up the tool is not going to do anything if you don't have any program so part of this introductions what we did is that we, we created a very simple Java program just to create some noise initiate of a create a Java process in this case it's a program to simulate some uh, memory leak so I'm going to start the program now and then you will see Java Visual VM that we just started is able to automatically detect my new Java program which is running on this PI Visual VM goal is truly to monitor your Java application. So your Java application, when you're firing it, the Java process as we just started. So in this case, Java VM is able to detect. The first thing you can do, double check on the Java program it did detect, and now you will see a basic function of it. So you get the name of the program. Uh, in our case, it's called Class Metadata Leak Simulator. You get the PID, the host, the main class and then you get detail also on the Java VM in this case 64 bit GVM that's a program that we're running on and a different version of the GRE and so on. So you get a bit of the overview of, of your process. Keep in mind this is a Java local program but for example if you're monitoring your uh, let's say a production environments you will see basically specification on your product environment from the screen and then from this you can see different tab by default that are showing up. The monitor tab is very useful. As I said today, we won't go too deep into the analysis part. I'm just going to show you an overview and I'll get back with a part two on a deeper dive troubleshooting techniques. But essentially from the monitor, you get the CPU monitor utilization with correlation of the garbage collection activity which we will discuss later. Uh, you get the Java heap monitoring, very crucial, including the metaspace. Uh, you may wonder what metaspace means. Well, keep in mind the uh, we're using Java 8, in case uh, you have seen my article uh, before. Hotspot JVM uh, permgen has now been replaced by metaspace since uh, Java 1.8. That's why you see this here. And we're able to monitor the metaspace, which is class metadata. Now you get the loaded classes. Now keep in mind this is going up because that's what our program is doing, right? It's simulating a leak, so that's why we want to show you some noise so we can see J Visual VM in action. And you get a detail about the actual thread. So you see this is truly a monitor screen. You can filter, you can remove if you want, add, remove. You can perform a garbage collection on the fly. Uh, you may want to generate a heap dump as well. You see if you click on perform JC, you will see it's triggering a garbage collection. The other time is to monitor the threads of your Java process. So we'll see that in more detail. Get the sampler, which we'll cover in a separate session. This is uh, essentially profiling activities that you can do. You can profile your program for CPU bottlenecks, memory, uh, and so on. And you get also profiler as well. So you see that Java Visual VM is quite a complete tool, uh, giving you monitoring capabilities, thread view, sampling, deep dive thread, CPU issues. And you can even add plugin to it, which I will show you next in another tutorial. You could add some MBN 
plugin details as well. So there's plugin available that will cover next um, future session. Very useful uh, plugin. Now that being said, if you right click, you'll see you can do all of this on the box in the application snapshot. I want to save a specific snapshot. Let's see for analysis purposes. You can generate a heap dump shred dump on the fly very useful for troubleshooting each of them will be covered separately through uh, separate videos so right now it's just an overview so as you can see a lot of capabilities if you have not used it yet to monitor your application i highly recommend that you use it if it's possible i'll cover later some technique in this case keep in mind we're using the auto detect function so because we're running on windows GeoVM is able to detect it automatically but you can use GVisualVM remotely as well we'll cover it in a separate session let's see you would like to configure it to remote attach to a production environment assuming from a network perspective and security that will be allowed in your organization that you will be able to do that as well so I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial which was just a quick introduction to the Java visual VM tool now for the next sessions we'll be doing some deeper dive on some of the monitoring capabilities including the thread monitoring and how you can use the thread done for that purpose if you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, have a good day